everyone uh, i am making a powerpoint presentation on responsibilities of a radiographer during radiographic procedures so today we will be discussing about like um, being a radiographer the things that we have to know while we are on clinics while in a hospital and while in while performing um, uh, radiographic procedures so let me proceed on to the next slides for the contents, we have introduction, care of radiographic examination room, clinical responsibility, ethical responsibility, legal responsibility, patient consent, and radiation protection. So in introduction, what do you mean by a radiographer? A radiographer is the one who is professionally trained and then who has a degree um, in order to operate X-ray machine, CT scans and MRI, fluoroscopy, intervention radiology, radiotherapy and so on in order to diagnose or monitor an injury or illness from a patient. So a radiographer should be knowledgeable. When we talk about knowledgeable, we're talking about the radiographer should be able to know the terminologies mostly used uh, in the clinics and then equipments and contrast media, the protocols which have been maintained in CT scans and MRI and catheters as well. So uh, lastly, but not the least, the radiographer should adhere safety procedures whenever carrying, uh, the radiographer is carrying out radiographic procedures. So the care of radiograph uh, the second topic we have care of radiographic examination room. So we all know being a radiographer, we all know that like that moment when we entered in the morning, our facility, our department, our department room, our examination room, we know that like we have to check the tidiness, the cleanliness of the examination room. And then we must also ensure that equipments must be cleaned every day. And then we uh, being uh, handling all of these um, expensive equipments, once, uh, one radiographer must make sure that quality assurance must be carried out. Uh, either it's daily, weekly, monthly, or uh, annually. So um, it's completely our sole responsibility. And then, uh, there, since we have so many wires and then connecting loops, so we, ha we have to ensure that none of the um, cables are overlapping or there should be no leakage. And then, uh, responsibility of a radiographer. The responsibility in which a radiographer carry for a patient may be considered as clinical responsibility, ethical responsibility, and three and legal responsibility so the things that we're going to discuss from the next slides will be mostly about this clinical responsibility ethical responsibility and legal responsibility so moving on to, to clinical responsibility the radiographer must know that while doing the radiographic procedures first of all I want to mention what I want to mention is that making a smile having building a connection and earning trust from the patient is very very important because mostly in procedures we are going to insert contrast media so almost everyone is always aware that it has a side effects so we must make sure and assure the patient that and explain to, uh, the procedures to him everything okay and then um, uh, in case of accident, accident uh, every radiographer must know about the first aid procedures. And then radiographer must understand psychological state of the patient. And then and radiographer must assist physicians during radiographic procedures. Next, ethical responsibility. This ethical responsibility is taken out from uh, IS RRT that is called International Society of Radiographers and Radiological Technologies and then uh, this ISSRT has made ethical responsibility rules and regulation 
and uh, when we talk about ethical ethics it means it's a process rules or principles which is governing conduct and then uh, this um, objectives the statement of isrt is that to improve the standards of delivery and practice of medical imaging and radiation therapy throughout the world by acting as the international licensed organization for medical radiation technology and by promoting quality patient care education and research in the radiation medicine sciences so under this ethical responsibility first we have duties to the patient so for duties to the patient our our sole duty is we must provide appropriate care and before starting any of the procedures we must take informed consent either it should be verbal or i should it, be, it should be written and this consent should be signed by both the parties that is the radiographer who is going to conduct and uh, and then the patient who is uh, on which the patient who is going to be performed and then the radiologist who who is going to perform this and then justification optimization in lra should always be maintained none of the radiological procedures must not be performed unless it is justified and then we should maintain patient privacy and conf confidentiality at all times and then we should facilitate and support caregivers and we must also make an option to the patient that um, uh, they can have assistance but under given protective gears and um, whether they are relatives or not but we must also assure at the same time that the effect of ionizing radiations on human body on top of that we must also make them understood and treat uh, we should always treat all the patients with respect and dignity no matter what kinds of person they are no matter uh, they 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 are colors they have colors or not or whether they are young they're old or they have mental or physical ability we must always maintain respect and dignity and we must respect patients right and then we must also maintain a certain knowledge of safety standard in order for our pros, uh, um, radiographers practice and conduct all procedures and examinations in keeping with these standards we must never do unethical practice as well and secondly due to uh, we have a duty to help professionals that is for, within ourselves we should respect other health professionals we should refrain from making unsubstantiated comments about colleagues and the institution to patients or other persons next duties to the society we should m maintain respect and dignity to all humans as all humans have rights and then we should deal responsibly with radiation and uh, in order to do this we must always follow our principle and then uh, like i said we must always treat everyone not only the patients with respect and dignity and without no discrimination and do, uh, lastly due to the uh, uh, and duties to the environment so in or uh, what are, are our duties to the environment we have limit we have protect and we have to ensure okay so we have to limit unnecessary radiation exposure to the environment so here again it comes alara principle and then in order to protect the environment we must assure the correct disposal of medicine medical waste and ensure a safe environment and take steps to minimize the exposure to potential risks for example radiation exposure strong magnetic field risk of infection we must always take care of this duties to ourselves we must practice professionally and then um, we must always remain current we must always read articles and new developments recent advancements uh, in uh, for the new procedures or the uh, or the kind of procedures that we have been practicing what will be the um, especially in radiation dose maintaining so uh, we should always stay remained and uh, remain current
and active and then we should always be accountable for professional actions and decisions and in case of um, uh, performing errors in our procedures we must also maintain strict professionalism regarding regarding this and then uh, we must always stay consent form always and should never forget about this and then professional activities should be appropriate and are not a conflict of interest so thirdly we have legal responsibility so legal responsibility may be considered under the following points that is number one break of professional confidential negligence the process in the event of accident so once uh, one uh, once must never break the confidentiality between the patients and uh, we must never ne neglect any of the patients and in the ca in case of accident we must know certain things certain measures how to deal with these kinds of accident whether it's uh, a life threatening accident or it's um, um in, it's an accident which um we are handling with the machines anything so every radiographer must know the steps to take care about uh, when it comes to accident and this uh, the next topic will be consent of the patient so this consent can be verbal or written consent and then this like i said consent form should always be taken before the procedures explaining to the procedures what is a consent form a consent form is a um, a form uh, where we are explaining it to the patients that we are going to perform such actions or such procedures to him and then they, if there is a side effect we must we must mention and then um, we have to take their permission so that is a consent form and lastly we have radiation protection this is always which I've never missed uh, we uh, which we should never miss while doing any kinds of whether if it's not a radiographic procedures whether it's a normal ct examination fluoroscopy examination x-ray examination one must always protect the patient from radiation that is our cardinal principles of radiation protection time distance and shielding so we must always try to reduce the time of radiation exposure and maintain a distance from the source of the x-ray to the between the patients and the source of the x-ray and then we must always shield ourselves from the source of x-ray while maintaining exposure and uh, alara as low as reasonable achievable and then we should always protect uh, the patients where the area of interest is uh, apart from the area of interest we must always give protective shielding like apron like thyroid shielding, like lead glass, and we should always do collimation of the X-ray tube. So, um, we've covered most of the important things that we must know while doing um, uh, radiographic procedures uh, to the patients. So, um, I hope everyone is uh, benefiting some of uh at least something from it and uh i hope we might learn uh we might uh, we might be able to learn in details later on and thank you so much